Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Pastor Eric Brown with Daily Manor for your soul. Happy Friday to you. I pray the Lord is blessing you real good right now. Look, just want to bring you a word of encouragement, something to help you along your way. And today that word is, there's power in the pivot. Uh, let me describe and define pivot for you. A pivot is just a, just to turn as if on a pin. A pivot is really just a change of direction. You know, in basketball, they use the pivot all the time. I remember seeing a basketball player that that, that got the ball and all of a sudden he got converged on. There were, there were three defenders all around him. It looked like he didn't have any way to go. He still had a dribble, but he couldn't dribble the ball because everyone was blocking him. But then he made a pivot. Oh, he just changed direction even slightly and that was an opening. And when he saw that opening, he was able to take off and score the basketball. I'm here to tell you the pivot is powerful because the pivot opens up your view to brand new things and a brand new direction. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm reminded in the Bible over there in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, the Bible says, if my people uh, that are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, that I would hear from heaven and I would heal their land. I'm here to tell you that it, the, the, the pivotal phrase in this in this text is to turn, or to turn from your ways, to turn, to turn under God, to turn, to turn and, and get a brand new view, to turn turn and see a brand new direction. And see, this is what the Lord said when my people are willing to humble themselves and change their direction and turn from their wicked ways and to pray unto him. God said, yes, I hear from heaven, but God goes even further than that because in verse 15, in verse 15 of that same chapter, God says, now will I turn my attention to you? Oh, I'm here to tell somebody right now, God, if he's not pleased with your ways, God, if he's not answering your prayers, God, God, if, if, if he's not hearing from you like you think he ought to do, you better understand that there is no fault in him. Oh, but you need to make a change in your life, that you need to make a pivot. Oh, can I tell you, Moses found that out. When Moses was on the backside of the desert for 40 years, he was looking for answers, but he was looking for answers in all the wrong places. But one day, uh, as he was walking through the desert, he saw, he, he saw a bush on fire that would not be consumed, and he decided to turn. And when he turned, oh, he began to, he began to see the hand of God, the power of God. And he heard the voice of God that, and God showed him the plan that he had for his life. I'm just here to tell you, if you're not getting the results that you think you should get, uh, all you need to go ahead and make that pivot because you will find that there is power in the pivot. Oh, when Moses made the pivot, uh, God anointed his life. When Moses made the pivot, God gave him direction for his life. When Moses made the pivot, it. God, God set him on a path to bring deliverance to his people when Moses made the pivot. But before he made the pivot, all he could see was the desert. All he could see was barren land. All he could see was defeat. All he could see was running for the rest of his life. But when he made the pivot, God began to change some things. And I'm here to tell somebody today, oh, God wants you to make a pivot. God said that because when you make the pivot now, he can see you. And now he can allow you to see see yourself. When you make the pivot, God can God can put his plans in motion for you. You might be stuck. You might be stuck behind the behind enemy lines. You might be stuck huh? and the enemy got a hold to you and the enemy got a hold to your situation but if you make the pivot huh, all you can see clearly now because when you make the pivot you create pivotal moments. Uh, somebody need to get that. I can remember a few years ago way before the pandemic huh, uh, I had an inkling in my spirit huh, to record every service at the Goodwill Baptist Church and we used to record on CDs and, and look, we had them for sale and wasn't even really selling many of them. We gave away much more than we sold, but we got used to recording. Then we heard of a thing called called Ustream. So we started doing Ustream. But we had very few followers, very few um, uh, viewers, uh, but we kept on doing it. Then we changed from Ustream and made the pivot to, to YouTube. And we still had very few subscribers and very few followers. Then we made a pivot not only to, to, to YouTube, but to Facebook Live. All this is happening before the pandemic. And hardly anybody watching us, people laughing at us for trying to do this. But then all of a sudden in, in 2020, when the pandemic 
came and everything was closed up and we wasn't even allowed to go to church. We wasn't even allowed to assemble for a time. Do you know, do you know that we have never missed a service? We have always had a service because we had virtual service. We didn't have to get geared up and ramped up, but we had already made the pivot. We had already made the pivot to recording our services. We had already made the pivot to streaming our services. We had already made the pivot to offering, offering a virtual worship experience. Oh, we had already made the pivot. And because we made the pivot, oh, we we were we were not, we were not left out. We were able to continue to have service. As a matter of fact, because we made that pivot, this video that you're seeing right now today, this is the 520th so or so video that we have made. Why? Because we made a pivot about eight years ago. We made a pivot to recording and taping and, and, and streaming. We made a pivot. And because we made a pivot, God was able to see us. God was able to bless us. God was able to keep us. God was able to strengthen us and have us ready for a time such as this. Well, I want to encourage somebody today. When you make the pivot, you might not see the the magnitude of the change that you just made. It might seem like a small thing, just a just a sideways step uh, or just a different angle, just a different view, but you just open up uh, a brand new avenue for you and your ministry. You just open up a brand new avenue for you to receive the promises of God that are in your life. You just open up a brand new avenue for God to come in and bless you real good right now. Look, you have an awesome day. Stay encouraged. Make that pivot because there is power in the pivot. Have an awesome day. Peace.